Well, I can't say good morning because it's like 2 o'clock and I'm like still in bed because I do not feel good at all. I always yarn. YouTube always makes me yarn. It always makes me yarn. Oh, I was on I was on uh Facebook yesterday clowning so bad because I I don't know why like I feel like if you are married if you're married don't hit me up. I don't like married men. So I had to jump on there and I talked about the married men. Then I jumped on there and I talked about the order of marriage. Then I jumped on there and I talked about, I don't know, I talked about a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But I'm trying to think of a story. I got so many. What story am I going to tell y'all today? trying to think i got so many crazy ass stories like i feel like what you go through in life i feel like life is a teacher you know what i'm saying life is life is life is a teacher and life teaches you what to do and what not to do signs and symptoms of you know what i'm saying different stuff it teaches you so you know I, I don't be mad when, you know what I'm saying, something happened. It took me a long time to figure that out. Like, when stuff happens to you, if somebody break your heart, you can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a lesson. If he didn't break your heart, somebody else was going to break your heart. If she didn't break your heart, somebody, another girl was going to break your heart. So, I see, I don't see him as... Um, Sometimes I do be like, God damn, why did I have to deal with this one though? You know, but it's life lessons. That's part of the 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 life lesson that you had to go through to learn from. Because if you didn't go through it, you would be dumb as fuck. Like you would be naive as hell. You wouldn't know shit. So you gotta go through them things. And I don't be mad about it. Like a lot of people call me mad and bitter. I'm not bitter. I'm not scorned, I'm not bitter, I'm not mad, I'm not none of those things, I'm just me, you know, I'm blunt, and I'm me, so, you know, they take my bluntness as being bitter, but it's, I'm not bitter, I'm happy for everything that I've been through, because that's what taught me, that's what brought me here right now, to where I'm at now, that's what shaped and mold me my situations and my 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 situations and my circumstances and my ups and my downs and my good times and my bad and my hurtfulness and my goodfulness like everything happens for a reason I've been through like so much but, you know, everybody's tolerance is different, you know. Because what I've been through, this might not be shit, uh, you know. Um, it might be somebody else that then went through way worse. Like, what? You think your life hard? This is hard right here. Like, you know, this is what happened to me. And then I listen to their story and I be like, well, damn. That is hard. My little shit ain't shit compared to yours. I need to be happy in life. You know, but I swear, I like, oh, I cannot think of not one. I'm trying to think of a story, like something that happened recently. Should I talk about the time I almost got? in a fight at Walmart. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have anxiety issues, bad anxiety. And if I'm not on my medication, I can go from zero to 10 <clears throat> real quick. So 
there was I was rushing through Walmart one day trying to get to uh I don't know what I was trying to get to I was just rushing I had my baby in a basket and I was just flying you know and like I was going this way and it was another couple coming this way but I was going so fast till I couldn't really stop so you know I kind of like they had to like stop and then I just kept going and I was about to say excuse me but the girl was like excuse you you ignorant nigga and she was white and I was like fuck you bitch the fuck I was about to say excuse me but this bitch just was like you she, she said she said excuse you and I want to say she said integrate you integrate nigga or something I know she called me a nigga and I was like fuck you bitch you know what I'm saying I was gonna say excuse me you just didn't even fucking give me time so she kept going down the aisle no which way was I coming because she was going like this way and I was going like this way. But we were still yelling at each other over the racks and the clothes. And then we came to the part where we was like down the food aisle and we was facing each other. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't about to be arguing with you, yelling with you through motherfucking Walmart. If you feeling some type of way, bitch, I'm right here. You can run up on me. If you feeling, if you feeling like that. Yeah, so I was like, bitch, I'm not about to argue with you. If you feeling some type of way, you can come up here, right? You can you can step to me right now. As a matter of fact, let me cut my phone on. And I cut my phone on. And I push record because I was like, bitch, soon as you get so many feet in front of me, if you even attempt to, like, leap at me, I'm going to grab your motherfucking hair and I'm going to bash your motherfucking face in that goddamn basket. I wasn't, she was just popping off at the mouth, running. Nah, 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 nah. I was thinking about what the fuck I was going to do to this bitch when she got so many feet in front of me. I wasn't even saying nothing. I was just like, bitch, all you doing is talking. Then, you know, she, her boo boyfriend was holding her back. She was all like, let me go, let me go, let me go. It was, And it's sad because it was only me and my baby there. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even want to have to act like that in front of him. But you call me a nigga? Bitch, I'm not going to respond in words because I'm going to show your ass in motherfucking action. And you don't ever want to fuck with a person that got anxiety issues or panic attack issues or anxiety disorders. They adrenaline be going so bad. They do not feel. When my adrenaline gets to going, I, I get numb. I don't feel. You can knock me out. I might fall out, but I'm going to get right back up fighting. So this itty bitty white bitch did not know what the fuck she was in for. So she's still yelling. Matter of fact, I got the video on my phone. So I should post it on here to let y'all see it. So y'all can see what this bitch look like. So I was like, bitch. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't about that. You ain't about the action. This is all you want to do. You just want to do this. I was like, so I turned around and I walked away and I got in the line. While I'm in line, and this bitch directly goes right across from me to like the little cash center where you would like get money orders or do Walmart to Walmart pay. I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. So I cut my phone back on because I'm like, I, I, this bitch right, this bitch like 20 feet from me. I need to have my phone on to show it to the police. You know what I'm saying? If some pop off, what really went down? Because I'm telling you, I will pull this phone out in a minute. You got to have evidence nowadays. Fuck what he say, she say. She white, I'm black. I'm having evidence. Fuck that. Officer, you can look at this video right here and you can see she was taunting me. She was the one that was talking and running her mouth. I didn't say, I said some words, but I only said a few words. I wasn't about to be yelling through Walmart, sounding like a goddamn fool. Yelling, yelling, yelling. Bitch, I'm not about to yell with you. I'm about to beat your ass. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. So, and I have fought niggas. So, if I had to fight niggas, then you know it ain't shit for me to fight a white bitch. 
Bitch, I'd be mean, there slunk her ass all over the floor. I mopped her ass. I would have used her motherfucking face to mop the dust off the Walmart floor. So, we get in line and the bitch staring at me. And uh, she like, you so fucking unhappy. You an unhappy bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? You still in it? She's the bitch still going. I'm like, you know what, bitch? You still ain't talking about doing shit. You still just want to run your mouth. You still want to pop up at the mouth. You just want to do this. This. I'm not going to do this with you. So if you feeling like you, you feeling like you want to do something, bitch, we 20 feet apart right here. But I'm not going to argue with you. That I'm not going to do. So then a bitch go say, so then when we left, my baby was like, bye. And she, she called my baby a bitch. That should have been enough for me to go back and whoop her ass. That should have been enough. But my dumb ass was like, fuck you, bitch. Your mama's a bitch. <laughs> and I walked off and left. But what I did do, I took that video to motherfucking Walmart and showed it to the people. And got her ass red balled from Walmart, whatever the fuck that mean. Because I was like, she was cussing in front of people all throughout the store. Just telling her boyfriend, hold her back. You always know that that's the motherfuckers that ain't go do shit. The motherfuckers that do all the talking. Talking. Real motherfuckers move in silence. They don't talk. You know what I'm saying? Because they too busy thinking. I don't never talk. You, I'm not never about to be sitting up arguing. With, and yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to either think in my head what I'm about to do to you or I'm going to spit in your face. Because once I spit in your face, it's going to be on. And I mean, I got a man. I can, I can bring up some shit. Right and aim it right where I want it to go. Right in your face. No problem at all. But I try not to be like that. But this happened... What, a couple of months ago? Maybe like five months ago? Probably. I think it was. No, it had to be like summertime, I want to say. Maybe it was last summer. I can't remember when it was. I got to go back and look at the video. But yeah. Then. So. I got a handicap sticker. I had another white dude. A white guy sad thanks for taking up the handicap spot and you're not even handicapped you fucking nigger like yeah these white people good for calling motherfuckers niggas like i could not get out that car fast enough but because i was having lung issues i couldn't really respond how i wanted to and it's like don't judge a book by its color, bitch. You didn't even give me a chance to put my sticker in the window, first of all. And, bitch, just because you looking at me and you see my hair is red, you don't know what the fuck is going on with me. My lungs don't work all that great. My lungs work like at 60%. And when I'm having asthma attacks and all this other bullshit, I can't breathe. So, it, it's, it's fucked up when I got to walk from way down there to way to the door that shit is hard when your lungs is fucked up. So, fuck yeah, I got a handicap sticker. Because I can't walk far when my lungs is fucked up. So, this ignorant ass white dude go say, I'm taking up a handicap spot. And you called me a nigger. And you don't even know. You don't even know. You just ignorant and just talking out of ignorance. But that ain't the first time a white person that called me a nigger. Like, it's like when I came out here, when I, I was raised in Detroit. So I never experienced racism. But then I came out here to the suburbs. And when I came out to the suburbs, oh my God, the racism is still so real. Like, <sighs> these motherfuckers, let me tell you how rude these motherfuckers will is. They don't never fucking open the door for you. You could, you could be right in front of them. They, they will walk dead right in front of you, open the door, and won't hold it. And then they motherfucking asses is good for motherfucking taking cuts. Not me, though, because I'd be like, um, you did see me standing here, didn't you? Did you just get in front of me like that? You just, just go, just debo me like that for real? 
okay, watch this. As soon as the next thing open, I'll be and cut and got when swipe my shit real quick and hurried up and debo day ass. I don't play that. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that to me. I'm just I'm just not the right person to fuck with. Don't do that. I'm nice as fuck. Like I could talk to a person for hours, but do not do not try to do no disrespectful shit. When you do disrespect, when you do disrespectful shit, that's when it's time for me to motherfucking be rude on that ass. That's when it's time for Sybil to come out. Cuz that is my name and we all know who Sybil is. She was the first girl that had multiple personalities. <laughs> and my mom named me Sybil. <laughs> she named me after somebody crazy. But, yeah, that was my Walmart story. I always be getting into it. And people be acting crazy when it comes to parking in Walmart. Like, I just can't believe how sometimes they really just be like, they just do some stupid shit over a parking spot. Like, I had this one person... She wanted this parking spot so bad. She blocked everybody in. The part, the spot she was trying to get, she couldn't even get to it because the guy couldn't even back up because she was just, like, right there. And he like, damn, bitch, I know you want the parking spot, but move the fuck out the way. How you expect to get the spot if you don't let me out? And then it was, like, it was just, like, cars. Like, he couldn't get out because it was cars this way and it was cars this way. And she had them blocked in. And I'm like, this bitch is just causing just major... Just, bitch, just move the fuck out the way so we all can fucking move. You holding up the whole fucking thing for a parking spot. People be so ignorant. Oh my god. I hate running into ignorant people. And then you got... The motherfuckers that you call somewhere and you got to get the customer service. And they don't speak good English. I'll be like, let me speak to the manager because I can't understand what you're saying. And I'm not about to sit up here on the phone with you for 10 minutes. And I can't understand what the fuck you're saying. So can you please put your manager on the phone? They get mad, they transfer you, and they put you on hold, like, forever. They never fucking come back to the phone. They just transfer your ass into an outer space number where you have to end up calling back asking for another manager. They good for doing me like that. Shit, I can't understand what the fuck you saying. How the fuck you get a job anyway and you ain't even from here? The fuck? Foreigner people. Where is this call at? In Indonesia somewhere? Well, transfer me back to the U.S. and let me speak to the manager, goddammit. Motherfucking representatives can't even speak of it. And who got it bad is motherfucking Xfinity ass. They ass got the worst motherfucking foreigners. Xfinity and who else? I can't think of nobody else. But I'm going to cut this video off because I'm kind of getting sleepy for some reason. And I don't even know why. I don't think I took my medicine, but I'm about to, and it's about to make me even sleepier. So, you guys, have a good day, and that was my blog, my Walmart blog, my Walmart blog, look. <laughs>